So we're looking at looking through the window quilt there and we've got nine panels and we've got nine different blocks but <coughs> we've created a template so as that we can actually lay out our um, quilt using a, a block of fabric with a pattern on it or a panel. So it doesn't matter what size it is, we will have a square which requires a pictorial print in it. So what we've done is if we take a panel, something like this, <coughs> this is a Michael um, Miller panel and it's called something like Meadow Walk. I have not, I can't remember. It's been in my stash for years. And so we want to plan where these blocks will go on the piece of fabric. So by printing out nine of these and joining them together, it gives us an idea of what it will look like. Now, okay, we've got some focal points. The thing is, is that when you're doing these looking through the window quilts, you can quite often miss the entire um, flavor of the panel. So making this pictorial template means that we can actually have a look to see what our elements are. So we've got sky, we do have a walkway through here. If you see, we have a, we have a little river with some sheen on it. We have some flowers, but if we move our template down, it changes. It changes, our skyline changes, so as we've got some texture, we've got some trees, we've got some clouds in the sky and more trees. We have a focal point here, another focal point here, and from a distance you can see that we still have this river or stream running through. So as opposed to just cutting out six squares and you lose that, or nine squares and you lose that, you can bring that down and create something a little bit more stylish. Now, you're limited about where your panel is, but what we will do is then we'll just chalk inside these squares, and when we cut them, when we cut the square ready to go onto the um, hoop to do the section, we will know where we can outline this by our row of stitching. So we place it um, in the square here. So this will become go into here. If it's out by a fraction, it doesn't matter. So the theme will still be there, but there's I've seen some very odd through the window quilts where you've got half an animal or a nose or a leg and there's no animal because of the, the bars of the window. Um, this lends itself perfectly to this. So just an idea, a template. Now each design will have its own template. We've, we've made a template for each, each um, uh, size of the hoop. Now the smaller hoops will have a smaller window of course, so you won't get quite so much detail. Um, but have a, have a play, I hope this helps you lay this out. I used to always draw this up with chalk on fabric, but being able to print out a template and join it together is much easier. Yes. How do I make the template? I, I, I cut out nine of these, I cut out my square, and I join them with sticky tape. <laughs> Just like you'd join a PDF pattern for making a garment, so as I got my windows. And I've, I've allowed a half an inch around the edge, so as that I've got something to, um, to stitch a binding on or a border on. You're not limited to nine blocks. You could do, um, well, you, got, you can do four, nine, 16, it's up to you, 25. The, biggest, the bigger the panels, you need to work out what size um, hoop you want to use, depending on how much detail you've got in the panel. I've got some panels which are absolutely massive, so they would suit the 8x8 block. But basically it's just a printout, there's no, nothing on it other than the lines, and that, those edges here of the template are your sewing lines. So you're going to be squidged in just a little bit. You're going to just be a slight, slightly smaller one that you've taken your seam. It's going to be ever so slightly smaller from there, but it's not enough to make a difference. You'll still be able to get your flow and position your key elements in your design.